Greetings, humans. Uh, yeah, surprise. Today I am a fully moving crow. Yes, I was getting tired of my PNG tuber, so in like a weekend, I just made a full on crow VTuber. I'm a crow now. Great. Anyways, today's video. I wanted to create some designs and I wanted to start drawing again. So I decided to pick two random little items on Pinterest and turn them into characters. The first item I picked was this little clay armadillo and the second one is this kind of colorful wax cat. I just thought they were super interesting and I had some pretty good ideas for the design. Now, let's start. Firstly, we're gonna check out the armadillo. For the armadillo, I there's a couple of things I wanted to add to their design. Firstly, as you may notice, the armadillo has a lot of scales, which I thought was very interesting and I wanted to keep that. Also, since like the kind of overall shape of the armadillo was kind of round, I wanted to make sure that I would take this shape language and try to incorporate it into my final design. I decided that I was going to work with the hair to create this like kind of oval shape like the clay creature. And also I made the hair like kind of scales almost. And of course, in each scale, I had to draw a little star like on the original uh, little clay armadillo because it's just adorable, honestly. As you can see, I also gave the character some claws because if I remember correctly, armadillos, armad armadillos <laughs> um, have little like two claws and I don't know, kind of. It's interesting. I kind of like how it turned out. Another thing that I kept from the little clear armadillo was the eye. Because the eye is like kind of interesting. So I decided to just put it over the entire character. So there's like one on the chest, one on the, well, two on the arms. And of course, the actual eye shape of the character is the same eye shape as the little creature. So I thought this was a cute design design idea. Another thing that I kept, well, that I kept, that I decided to add was a nice little overall because I thought it just suited this character's personality so well. Like in my head, they're kind of shy, but shy in the sense that they don't, they're more silent, they don't talk a lot, but they have strong opinions. And if you get on their bad side, Actually, don't. Just don't. You're you're in you're in trouble if you do. <laughs> so I love how this little guy turned out. I tried to keep the color palette similar, but I did end up going for a more purplish um, main color, and I kept the like grayish um, yellow color. So yeah, I love them. Now moving on to our wax chat character. Wax cat. That's kind of fun to say. Anyways, <laughs> starting off for this one, this is the first one that I drew between the two. And I did really focus on shape language. Like I tried going out of my way, experimenting with body types, did something different. And actually it worked because usually if you have seen my art before, the body types I do kind of don't change that much. They're always like the um, slim kind of character, which I do want to change. And I tried doing this with this, this uh, design and damn, it worked. So as you can see, I'm really giving her like this exaggerated like hourglass shape because I don't know. I just, I just felt the vibe, okay? Now, for the design elements. Well, you'll see the hair is just, I love it so much. 
like I made these two like big wax drip ponytails and like first of all it's great for the silhouette and second of all just design wise it's kind of cool of course like her entire just hair is dripping wax which is cool in itself other places where I added like this dripping effect was the dress and the leg cuffs like I don't know how to call those so yep yeah. and I had to keep the three eyes now originally I wanted them to be like two normal eyes and add a third eye on the forehead like you would typically see in character design but I decided to keep the eyes the way they were on the original uh, little cat item thing because in the end kind of looks very like unique I don't know it's just interesting for the colors I of course kept the color scheme because it's just insane I love the blue and the like coral peach colors they just go so well together so I just made a bunch of gradients everywhere around the character I just love how it turned out in the end and I happy because I figured out a way to render that's first of all quick second of all satisfying and third of all it just looks so good like I just wanna I just wanna take about a bite out of her like in like in <laughs> in a non-sexual way okay she just looks good like she looks I'm gonna stop there um <laughs> So yeah, I just love how these two characters turn out. I love everything about them. Like they're, they have like unique personalities, honestly. And I'm gonna be honest, when I look at them like together, side by side, like I cannot stop thinking that they should date, you know? They should go on a date. So I think I'm actually gonna draw them going on a date because that, that'd be fun <laughs> to draw. <laughs> Anyways, that's all. I'm so glad I made these two designs because I found a new way of rendering. I had fun. I have content to put out. I'm, I'm living my best life, okay? Anyways, I hope you liked watching me uh, talk and <laughs> draw. So, have a nice day. We month and year and my destinies cross again